Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you, teacher? I'm just fine, I'm just fine. I'm going to let everybody know that I'm here. Okay. <laughs> So, Javier, tell me, how was your day? I'm going to... I went? I was? I when? went? I went to work? I went to work. Okay, how was your day at work? ¿Cómo estuvo el día en el trabajo? It's good. Was good? Perfect, excellent. Hey, look, there's Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Sarah. How Good are evening. you? I'm fine. I'm so tired. Tired? Why? You had a heavy day? Yes, I work in hard. Okay. What's the name of your company, Sarah? Um, in Tigo. I work in Tigo. I work at Tigo. At Tigo. Or I work for Tigo. Good evening. Ah, trabajo para Tigo. Okay, yes. okay. Hello, Tonil. So tell me, Sarah, what did you do today? Um, <laughs> please again. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo este día? Ah, I... I wake up early in the morning. I woke and up. I work out. Work out. Okay. And, um, early. What time uh, is early? What time is early in the morning? Uh, five, four, three. Five. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Wow. How long does yes. it take it from your house to your job? Yes. I. ¿Cómo se dice los oficios de la casa? Oh. I do the house chores. House chores, yes. And um, after a work okay. and drive. <laughs> oh, drive you, have, work. you have to drive to work? Yes. Okay, yes. tell me, are you a, a relaxed driver or are you a stress driver? <laughs> a stress driver. Oh, really? Be careful, be yes. careful. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, Otoniel, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Tell me, well, how was your day? Yes, I gone to bank. Oh, you, you went to the bank? To pay. Oh. To pay the bills. To pay the bills. To pay the bills. Oh yeah, that's terrible. They come by the house. He put all play in in the afternoon. Okay, so going to the bank uh, is boring. Yes. Yeah, I can understand. Thank you, Antonio. Urania, hello. Hi, teacher. Nice How are you? you? Good evening. Bye. Good evening. Bye. Tell me, Urania, what did you do today? Ah, terrible. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I I don't I don't have water in my house. Oh, there's uh, no so... water. Go, come on. Okay, I'm going to write it in the chat. Uh, there's there is no water no water service at home look it up there is no water service at home there is no water service at home oh really i'm so sorry to hear that that's terrible so um i'm i'm going to to wash uh at my mother's home okay so you go to do the laundry. 
You go to do the laundry at your mother's home. Yeah. Okay, excellent, excellent. <laughs> so that means that you have to travel with everything, all the clothes. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand that. It's terrible. Well, thank you very much, yeah. Dania. Let's see, okay. Tamara. Hello, Tamara. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. What about you? I'm terrible. Why? Why are you terrible? I'm sick. You're sick? Okay. Yes. What, what you got? I'm... A headache, a sore throat, a stomachache. Stomachache. Oh, you got a stomachache? Okay. Let's see, let's see. Hey guys, please, let's help uh, Tamara. What can she take for a stomachache? What could she take? ¿Qué podría tomar para un stomachache? Let's see. Suggestions, guys? Sugerencias? Hello, nobody got any, su any suggestion? Nadie tiene ninguna sugerencia para Tamara? Come on, guys. What about if, yes, Carol, tell me. Depends, uh, depende de los síntomas que tenga. Pues. It depends on the symptoms. But tell me, a, a, a generic medicine, what would you suggest to her? Uh, yo tomo Coca-Cola. <laughs> For a stomach cake. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but what about medicine? Tell her, dígale una medicina. Eh, loperamida. Take, take, loperamida. Take, loperamida. Ok, yes, Tamara. Es colitis, pero no sé cómo se dice. Oh, colitis. Let me see. Well, you can take, uh, listen, guys. You can take or take, uh, let's see, um, lansoprazol, pantoprazol, eh, Sucralfato. Well, those are okay. some of the ones I take, and they help. Cer Certal también okay. para el dolor. Now, uh, if, you, thank you. if you notice, oh, for the pain. So she's telling her to take a painkiller. You know what, Tamara? Part of the class is talking about medicines. Parte de la clase es hablar sobre medicina. Okay, that's why I'm asking everybody. Okay. So let's see. Thank you, Tamara. Well, now that Tamara told us that, let's see. But first, I want to hear uh, Mr. Roberto Suarez. Hello, Roberto. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Roberto? Um, so so. So so. Why, Mr. Tired? Um, I'm. I'm stay out of hospital. Oh, really? And my wife, yes, and, and my wife, um, um, ¿cómo se diría pasar consulta? She is, uh, she's attending an appointment. She's attending an appointment. Yes. Oh, she's sick. Okay. Sí, uh, yeah, yes, uh, yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, um, is the is the is the theme, no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The theme. But I am sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, yeah, that no happens problem. once in a while. We have to. But the good thing is that you are like you are not that bored waiting for. No está tan aburrido esperando because you are in the class. That's right. That's going to distract you a little bit. Thank you, Roberto. Let's see, um, Flora. Hello, Flora. Hello. How are you? Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Era un poco cansada. Uh, a little bit tired. A little bit tired. A little bit 
Oh, really? Why? Did you have a happy day? Yes. Oh, really? Well, today we are going to also talk about the activities we perform. Hoy también vamos a hablar de las actividades que hablamos, que hacemos. So, let's see. Hey, look, there's Ana Maria. Hello, Ana Maria. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Good. Okay, Ana Maria. I'm just fine. Thank you. But let me see. Uh, Tamara is sick. Tell me, Ana Maria, what would you suggest her for a stomachache? Mm. Maybe drink a tea. Okay, drink some sure. tea. Perfect. Now, guys, look at the way she said it. She said, drink some tea. And that's what I wanted to get to. Because today we are going to talk about commands. What are commands? Commands are part of the imperative form. Los commands son parte de los imperativos. And imperatives, eh, they exist in English, in Spanish, in all the languages. Because are the way we give instruction. Los imperativos están en todos los idiomas porque es como damos las instrucciones, okay? So, the only thing that is kind of tricky about the imperatives is that in English you are going to be always told that always, always use the subject in the sentences. In English, siempre se le va a pedir que utilice el sujeto en una oración. In English, if a sentence doesn't have a subject, it's not correct. En inglés, si una oración no tiene un sujeto, it's not correct. Why? Oh, because the difference is that for us, in Spanish, eh, sometimes the subject, you can infer the subject from the verb. En español podemos inferir, identificar, the, the, ver, the subject from the verb. Podemos identificar el verbo, el sujeto directamente del verbo. Like, eh, co juegan, juegan fútbol todos los días. You don't know who, but you know that the subject is they. Usted no sabe quién es, pero automáticamente entendió que el sujeto es ellos. Because I said, juegan. ¿Ok? Come mucho chocolate. Ok, you get that the subject is he or she. ¿Ok? Automáticamente entendimos que el sujeto es él o ella. That's in, in Spanish. But in English, if you remember... The verb, most of the situations, doesn't change. En muchas de las ocasiones, si nos hemos dado cuenta, el verbo no cambia. That's why we use auxiliaries, por eso utilizamos auxiliares, okay? So they make us understand, and always you get a subject, okay? Y siempre tenemos un sujeto. That's normal in English, right? Let me check something. Okie dokie. Yeah, it is gone. Okay. So, in English, the only exception to the rule is the imperatives. La única excepción a la regla son los imperativos. Why? Because imperatives are very common. Imagine that uh, you are in your company or you are, in, you are visiting a place, there's a garden, there's grass, and you will see something that says something like this, look. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. You're going to see something that says like, don't, I'm sorry. Don't step on the grass. Okay? Have you seen that? Ya hemos visto ese tipo de rótulos. Dice, no se pare en la grama. Okay? Is there a subject? No subject, no? But you know they are. In this case, if I tell you, don't step on the grass, you know that they are talking to you. Right? 
pues se sabe que están hablando con usted. In that case, you infer that the subject is you. Do you remember when you were in the school? ¿Se recuerdan cuando estaban en la escuela? And, and the teacher used to tell you, okay, guys, open your notebook. There was no subject there, but you understand it's you. Uh, imagine that Urania goes to the to a restaurant and she takes out a cigarette, lights it on, and she starts like and comes somebody and tells her, please don't smoke. She understands that the subject is you, even though it is not said. Entendemos que el sujeto es you, aunque no se diga. Right? Are we okay up to here? Vamos bien hasta acá? Yes? I'm asking because to the ones that I got, that got the camera open, I can see that they tell me yes. Les pregunto porque los que tienen la cámara abierta puedo verlo. So, uh, the, for the rest of you, if you can, open your camera, okay? So, let's see. I'm going to show you something right now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to share with you this okay let's see okay we are at beginner three class number five the objective is to learn how to use the imperative now we have open your book right that's an instruction if you see there is no subject here don't step on the grass there is no subject here either. No smoking. This is direct. No smoking. Okay? When using imperatives, we do not need the subject. You see? Open the door. Clean your desk. Very simple. Now, let me share something a little bit different with you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, right here. Okay. Uh, imagine you have, usually in English you have, you have it like this. You clean your desk. Okay? That means that you have the subject after the subject you get the verb, and after the verb, you get the complement. But when we are talking about imperatives, in this situation, we do not need the subject. That means that this can be understood without the subject. Esta oración puede entenderse sin el sujeto. Okay? Clean your desk. You know that they are talking to you. You clean your desk. It's the same sentence. So the imperative, they don't need the subject. Now, when do we use imperative? Cuando utilizamos los imperatives. Okay, we use them when we, when we give instructions. Okay? Uh, like in medicines, when you open a medicine, a bottle, there are instructions like take one pill every eight hours or three times a day. Ahí le dice tomen la pastilla tres veces al día. Okay? Or when you open, a, when you are following a receipt, cuando estamos siguiendo una receta for the ones who cook, para aquellos que cocinan, if you follow a receipt, you see that they are the steps. And if you remember, it never says you. Y si se recuerda, no dice you. It start right on the verb. Okay? Comienzan exactamente en el verbo. Now, imagine that you are in your job. You are in your job and you are giving instructions to people who work with you. You are not going to be you, you, you. When you are given instructions, you go start straight with the verb. Cuando usted está dando instrucciones en su trabajo, se va directo al verbo. Let's see. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Let's see, Ana Maria. Hello. You're the first one. Tell me, Ana Maria, uh, what do you do in your company? Uh, I'm develop uh, new products. Okay. What are the steps you follow? Or better, better yet, tell me, imagine that I am new in your company, okay? Imagine that I'm new in your company. And you are, and your boss comes and tells you, Ana Maria, you will have to tell Douglas what are his responsibilities. Okay, so you have to tell me everything, or tell me at least some of the activities that I have to perform all along the day. Imagine that I am taking over your position. Imagínese que la ascendieron, okay? So you got sent <laughs> upwards, and I am going to be taking your position. Yo voy a tomar su trabajo, su puesto. So tell me, please, what are my obligations? Like check in at 7.30 a.m. or at 7 a.m., uh, send emails, check your email, attend clients. You get it? ¿Se me entiende? Uh, yes. Okay, now tell me. Yes, but I don't know how to explain my work in English, but I try. Okay, I will help uh, you, don't worry. Yo le ayudo. <laughs> okay. Uh, first, you have to talk with marketing uh, okay. to know what they want to develop. Then, luego. Uh, then you have to uh, do the. In this case, beverage. Ana Maria, I'm sorry. In this case, Ana Maria, okay. you don't need to say you again because you are giving instructions. Aquí ya no necesita decir you again porque está dando instrucciones. You can go straight with the verb. Okay? Please continue. Okay. Uh, I have to do the beverage. Okay. Uh, then you have to, sorry. And uh, then have to- Forget, do... forget about the, <laughs> the you and have to. You. Olvides yes. del you, uh, el have to. Directo a la acción. Do the instability of the beverage. Okay, perfect. And uh, do the report. The reports, okay, perfect. And uh, finally, uh, communicate to the group that the product is okay to to the launch. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> perfect, perfect, excellent. Now, did you see what she did? ¿Vieron lo que ella hizo? She was explaining to me what are the steps or the obligations that I have, the responsibilities I have, using commands, using the imperative, giving instruction, straight with the verb. Okay, guys, now I'm going to divide you and you are going to do that to your classmate, okay? That's going to be your practice. Esa va a ser su práctica. Lo voy a dividir en grupos y usted se lo va a decir al compañero. Because when we come back, all of you are going to tell me. Todos ustedes me van a dar las instrucciones. Okay? So in the case of Urania, I don't know how you're going to do. Uh, give me the instructions for doing something, but you have to give, use commands, imperatives, because she doesn't work. Okay? So you ready, guys? Any question before I divide you? ¿Alguna pregunta antes que lo divida? Es sobre las responsabilidades en nuestro trabajo. Yep. Yes, okay. okay, guys, you are going to be divided right now. And let's see. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to move this person with 
15 a second. Perfect. Okay, let's do it. Join in, please. Hello, ladies. Hello, Hello teacher. teacher. Okay, you ready? You ready? Ana Maria's got it easy because she did it already. Ana Maria la tiene fácil porque ella lo hizo. Mm. Yes, yeah. for that reason. Uh, you're just, Mara, you're right? just have waiting. To start. You're just <laughs> waiting for them to start. Perfect. Excellent. Nice attitude. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you come on the Any question? What do you? ¿Alguna pregunta? Sí, ¿cómo sería la formulación para decirle, explícame qué es lo que tienes que hacer? Explain to me what do I have to do? Explain to me what do I have to do? If you want me, I can I can send you the the the, the. explain to me what do I have to do. You can check it in the chat. Explain to me what do you have to do. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Regreso luego. Try, try, I try every every day. Eh, durante la semana. During the week. What? During the week. During Todos los, hasta los fines de semana. Eh, oh, no. Todo, no, toda la semana. Diarias de week. Toda la semana, sí. Diarias de week. Ah, ok. Diarias. En, en, eh, llamadas de emergencia. Emergency Good. calls. Last weekend, or oh, no, los fines de semana. On weekends. On weekends. Yep. On weekends, the calls emerging. Emerging. Uh, emergencies. 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 Emerging, emergence. Okay. Teacher, how do you say uh, or, or is okay national territory? National territory. Territory. It's okay. 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 
Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Okay. Okay, guys, okay. practice. Uh, I'll be back. I'll go check in another group, okay? Okay, okay. Eh, Suli, falta. Suli, do it. Okay. But, eh, I am going in Tigo. Pero siempre la compañía Tigo. Sí, y somos la parte de Tigo Business. O sea, no es como que la parte residencial, sino la, más bien la parte ya que, que entendemos con ya empresas ya, ya grandes. Pues. Okay. Que van ya a lo más, a lo más, pues, a lo más, a lo más grueso. Eh, es correcto, es correcto. Ok, guys. Okay. So, Roberto, what are the obligations? What are the activities during the day? Ah, um, I, I uh, start the work at 8 a.m. Uh, um, check the, uh, then check the emails. Okay. Um, then uh, attend uh, meetings with clients Perfect. or or commercial executive. Okay. Así se dice. Ejecutivos comerciales. Yes, executives. Executive com commercial executives uh, prepare reports for 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 the chief. Okay. Or um, boss? take the say the boss. Bo boss or chief? Both. Either one. It's okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, and in in the afternoon, uh, idem, uh, attend meetings with uh, clients uh, usually. Okay, perfect. Excellent, very well, very well. Yes. I'll be back, I'll check on the other yes. groups. Okay? Okay. Uh, um, uh, re uh, prepare a uh, ruta de cobro, como se dice? Híjole. Collecting root? Root, root, uh, root collections? Collecting root. Okay. Ah, collect, collect y, mesa, y mensajero, ¿cómo se dice? Messenger. 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 Ah, ok. Uh, <laughs> you, you use it every day. You use it every day. Lo usan todos los días, I am sure. No, pero es que es el, el yes, de person. mensajería. The person. It's the messenger. Uh -huh. It's the messenger. Ah, ah, the messenger. Okay. ok. Ok, guys, uh, I'll be uh, back. The, Okay. Eh, quiero ver consultar qué equipo es. Eh? Consult. Mm. Consult. 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 The equipment. Consult. The equipment. Consult. Consult equipment. Consult the equipment. The equipment. Ah, equipment. 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 Consult the equipment. Consult or check, um, Javier. Equipment. Consultar Consult. o revisar. Eh, consultar. Ah, okay, consult. Okay, consult the equipment. Um, buscar, ¿cómo es? Search. 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 Search the document. Documents. Do, do, ¿cómo? Document. Documents. Perfect. Documents. Search, search, search a document. Okay. Sir, oh, listen, Sarah. Search for the documents. For the... ¿Por qué for the document? Because in English you don't say buscar documentos. You say buscar los. Uh -huh. So, search los. for the documents. Lo que pasa es que buscar es search for. ¿Ok? Mm, wow, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. It's like for. if you are like, if you got a dictionary, it's not search. Mm -hmm. If you have yes. like a, ¿cómo se le llama? Mm. Information. No, if you have a list. 
if you have a list of information and you need to to search uh, say for something the information. specific, you don't say search, you say look Manual up. service. In a manual, mm. you look up, look up. for information. Look up. You look up mm. for information. When there's a list, is look up. When there is search, is is go to a place and search. When you say simply look for, this is simplemente look for is buscar like uh, I lost my keys. Perdí mis llaves. I'm looking for them. Okay. Uh, yes. Got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. In Thank one you. minute. In one minute, we go back. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Otra Tamara. Hello, Tamara. Hello. Hello. Tell me, Tamara, Hello. where's your last name from? Juman. Uh, last name is Alemán. German. Oh, yes, German. interesting. So you have uh, relatives that are from Germany? Yes, yes. Excellent. Yes, and Okay, great. What about you, Ana Maria? Where does Turish come from? Uh, it's from to Arabia. Arabian? It's Arabian. Arabian? Arabic? Arabic. Oh, cool. That's nice. Yes. So you have relatives that come from? Yes, but uh, I don't know how to say, but uh, the, the last name uh, is very common in Misalco. Oh, really? From Misalco. Yes. For real? Yes. Well. But the real is Turush, but my grandpa changed uh, to Turish. Oh, really? Interesting. Very yes. interesting. Yeah, well, you know, at the Salco, I have heard uh, weird, no weird, but Yes, but I'm not witch. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I said weird, weird. Yo dije weird. Ah, okay, okay, claro. Yes. Like I, sorry, sorry. I have a friend that she's from Isalco and she's, her last name is Cheche. So you see, in that place I have heard very weird last names. Yo ahí he escuchado algunos un tanto yes. not common. Well, interesting. Let's see. Who's going to star? Mm, nom, 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 nom. A guy. Let's see. Otoniel, please tell me. Otoniel, I am new in the company and I need to know what are my obligations. So please tell me, what do I have to do? Dígame, ¿qué tengo que hacer? Oh, okay. Uh, it's your all on trends in the east and the three on the afternoon. Okay. Is the first you have is you you push uniform. Okay. Is where the uniform really, where's your uniform? The release is one inventor. Okay. Es res, uh, recibir, ¿qué es? Recibir. 
receive receive the cash and the super the supervis and you este you don't need to say you como me están dando las instrucciones no necesita decir you you can go straight with, oh. with the verb okay okay and count money okay and the uh, in the box okay yeah you, you este it's charge a customer and today how you wiser waiter okay and the tour on the on the track track the ball thank you very much yes in all the day you send one report and the system and so on top a gerent okay manager Manager. Gerente, manager. Okay. Okay, send the report to the manager. Wow. That's no good. Okay, let's see. Thank you very much, Antonio. Mr. Alberto Raimundo. Oh, teacher. Hello, please. Could you would you mind telling me the, the, the my obligations? I'm the new employee in the company. Okay. Welcome, Douglas. Uh, uh, for Welcome, Douglas. For this company, okay. uh, your your activity your activities for for your position are uh, send uh, check the email uh, every day. Okay, send, I'm sorry. Send, what what time do I check in? Uh, you have a check in at. 8 a.m. Oh, cool. O'clock. And the, then uh, you... You don't need to say uh, you again. Ya no okay. Uh, okay. Um, Check the just, email. Uh, st st start the, at 8 a.m. Then check the, the email. Okay. S send the the different uh, email for the for the for the department Perfect. and uh, have uh, attend the, the meeting with a mm. uh, financial department uh, for uh, at uh, ten a.m. Okay. Every day uh, or just on Mondays? Uh, only for only for this day. Okay. In, in at eleven AM at um receive the document uh, for for the client. Then have a lunch. Okay, cool. At what time? At twelve, uh, twelve from uh, from twelve no, no. from twelve to from twelve and uh, from twelve to have, have one, one or... hours for oh. your lunch. Perfect. Uh, then uh, I I I see, I see uh, in this in this place. <laughs> No, no sé cómo decir que lo veo en eh, lo veo aquí en este en this office eh, en de in this moment I I have no in this moment I say eh, another activity for afternoon. Okay, that's okay, Alberto. Perfect, you did great. Just remember the pronunciation is documents. Documents. Okay. Documents. Okay, Documents. very well, very well. Now let's see who's going to be next. Veamos quién seguirá. Suli. Hello, Suli. Hi, teacher. You were smiling to me, so I thought you wanted to participate right now. Yo la vi sonriendo, man. So it's your turn, Suli. <laughs> okay. 
Welcome to uh, um, and the company Tigo. Okay. Um, and the farm activation. Okay. Okay. And it is times in the morning um, is a a a m a m okay. a m. 8 a.m. For, for, for the moment. Oh. <laughs> for the moment, because eh, the los horarios. The schedule. The schedule. Are different. Okay. For the long, for, para todos? For everybody. Everybody. Okay, and the first, the first, um, I don't know, I don't know, uh, a, a ver, a ver como, como yo realizo. Okay, first you are going to sit and watch what I do. Okay, and I need to, uh, please, can, can I note? Oh, take notes. Oh, uh, take notes, please. And because um, uh, our different activations okay. are, are mobile in home. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mobile. And the, mobile. Mobile in home. Okay, excellent. Okay. Okay. And the launch is one time. At um, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Suli. Now let's see, because I'm sorry, Suli, but Carol is like raising her hand that she wants to participate. So, Carol, please. <laughs> Okay, uh, welcome uh, to last at the company La Casa de los Batetillas. Okay. Yes. The <laughs> uh, department uh, is uh, the work uh, is um, the credit department. Okay. Uh, ahora de entrada es... <laughs> Check-in time is? Check-in time is uh, 8 a.m. Okay. At uh, the activities is um, uh, check emails. Okay. And uh, uh, attend a meeting. Okay. And Prepare report. Prepare. Prepare report. And okay. uh, uh, I'm sorry, Carol. Okay. I'm sorry. Keep your idea. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Well, finish, finish, finish. I'll do it after okay. your participation. Please finish. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, prepare a uh, ruta de cubro. Root. Root. <laughs> root. Oh, collecting root. Uh, collecting root. And uh, attend a uh, salesman. Attend salesman. Perfect. Thank yes. you very much, Carol. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, guys. Now, everybody, please, I want you and I need you to look at me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because necesito que me vean. Uh, because I've been noticing these two little details that, I'm, that I want to help you fix. He estado notando dos pequeños detalles en varios de ustedes que quiero que arreglemos. And I'm sorry if I'm going to speak in Spanish because I want to be perfect clear with this. Y perdón que les vaya a hablar en español, pero necesito que quede muy clarito, clarito. Okay. Everybody in your house, on your own, I need you to say the word in Spanish. Necesito que todos en casa así, solito, digan la palabra corazón. Okay. Say it. Hay algunos que no lo estoy viendo, que In Spanish. Yes, say English. corazón. Say corazón in Spanish. Corazón. Okay. Corazón. Now, now, look. I need you to please 
I want you to do this exercise. It's going to be like uh, weird, but I want you to do it. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Se va a sentir un poquito rarito, pero you will see what is it for. Van a ver para qué es, de qué se trata. I need you to please close your eyes and say again, corazón. Corazón. Okay. Corazón. But close your eyes. Cerremos los ojos. Now, cierre los ojos e imagine que está viendo dentro de su boca. Y diga la palabra corazón e identifique dónde está su lengua cuando pronuncia la R. Corazón. Say it. Ok, now you can open your eyes. Podemos abrir los ojos. So, your tongue was touching likely the ceiling of your mouth. Su lengua tocó levemente el cielo de su boca, ¿verdad? Ok, now that you know the place, ahora que identificamos el lugar, in English, for pronouncing the letter R, I need you to please twist it a little bit backwards. Para pronunciar la R en inglés, la vamos a poner un poquito más atrás. Ok? So, in Spanish, it will sound, some, it will sound something like, en español sonaría así como corazón. Say it. Corazón. It sounds different, ¿no? Suena diferente, ¿verdad? So, yes. now, you can say report. 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 It sounds different. You sound different. Report. Okay? Report. Now, say with me. Wear the uniform. Wear the uniform. Wear the uniform. It sounds Wear different, no? Uniform. Wear. Wear. Different, right? It's because it's yes. a different language. We have to mouth the letters in a different way. Okay? And that was something that I was explaining to, the, to another group also. If you watch the videos in the platform, you will see that Mr. Sainz, when he's speaking in the video, he opens mouth, a lot his mouth. It's not because he speaks all the time like that. It's for your benefit. So you can see the place, the mouthing, the correct mouthing of every word. Es para que ustedes vean cómo se coloca correctamente la boca con cada palabra. It's like another thing that we need to fix is that the O in English is rounder. La O es más redonda. So we say report. Oh. Report. In my, in my case, in my case, uh, I'm going to use something like funny. In my caso, van a ver que me pongo más trompudo. Report. You see? Report. 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 We make it more Report. to the front. Okay? I can say, I can say it report. I can say it report. But I've been speaking it for longer than you. Yo lo puedo decir sin casi abrir la boca. But I've been speaking English for longer time than you. Pero yo he hablado inglés un poquito más que ustedes. So in my case, it's like more common. More, it's easier. But in your case, remember, that R goes backward. Another thing. Otro pequeño detalle. Uh, let me show it to you like right here. Mensaje, papá. Okay, look. Look, guys, uh, we have yes, we have this word and we have this word. Okay, you know what is an apple, no? Yes. Okay, we have. Listen to me. Here it says. It says here the problem. The problem. You the can say the problem or you can say that problem. The problem. The problem. The problem. Now, the problem. In this case here, as it is before a vowel sound, the pronunciation is D, the apple. Okay? The problem, the apple. What's the difference? This that in this case is a consonant sound, the problem. When it is a vowel sound, the apple. Okay? The problem, the apple. Okay. 
We got it? Yes? Perfect. Excellent. Yes, teacher. teacher. Those little de details are going to help us to speak a little bit better. Estos pequeños detalles nos van a ayudar a hablar un poquito mejor. Okay? Yes, and and I, wanted, I wanted you to fix it right now that you are in a beginner's level. Y me gustaría que lo, lo mejoremos ahorita que están en un beginner's. Because when you get to intermediate or advanced, you will sound weird. Se les va a ir raro si siguen cometiendo el mismo mistake. So now you know how to fix it. Okay, now let's see. Who's going to explain to me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Carol did it. Uh, Miss Flora. Tell me, Flora, what are my obligations? Hello. Hello. Um, uh, checking in time is, is at 8 a.m. Perfect. You do clean, clean, cleaning, cleaning before okay. opening. Okay. And, and as we're pacientes, no se dice pacientes. Patients. And, and as we're patient calls. Okay. Calls. Answer, answer patients calls. Answer patient calls. Okay, answer patient In, calls. Give a uh, make call, make consultation records. Okay. Fields, creo que debo llenar. Fields, creo que se dice llenar. Fields. Yes. Uh, fill out health insurance. Okay. Forms. Fill, fill out. Fill, fill out, out health. health insurance 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 forms. forms okay fill out health insurance forms fill out health insurance forms perfect mm -hmm. have a lunch at 1 p.m okay the la salida de, de check out de time. La salida. check out time Check out time at 6 p.m. Wow, it's a long day. Yes. <laughs> you know what, Flora? I don't like it. I quit. Renuncio. <laughs> okay. It's very long. Okay, thank you very much, Flora. Now, let's see. I still got time for one more. Let's see who's going to be the lucky one. Tengo tiempo para uno más. Who's going to be? Who's going to be? Let's see. Let's see. Hello, Urania. Hello. Tell me, Hello. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm legal represent in a uh, aso association. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. And to present document in Ministerio de Gobernación. Okay, Governation Ministry. Yeah, Governation Minister. Yep. Um, to present Estado Financiero. Financial statements. Financial statement. Financial. Financial statement mm, by the end of the year. Okay. And develop activities. Develop. Develop activities in in a in a succession. Okay. Mm? Right. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. For tomorrow. I have Romeo. You need to do this activity, Romeo, tomorrow. Mañana me va a hacer esta actividad, Romeo. Let's see. 
Tamara, you didn't do it. Tamara no la hizo, ¿verdad? Goes for tomorrow. And Roberto. For tomorrow, let's see who else. I guess it's Javier Mauricio. Okay, teacher. Perfect, Javier. So tomorrow, as soon as you connect, you are going to tell me that. And let's see, and Ana Maria. Okay? For tomorrow. And I got your names here, okay? So I don't forget. Okay, <laughs> okay now let's make a small review. Let's make a small review about what we saw today. Okay, first off, we were talking about the, at the beginning, we were talking about medicines. Do you remember? We were talking about uh, painkillers. We said aspirin, cough syrup, uh, antacid. You remember antacid? Let's see what else. Another type of medicines, guys? Otro tipo de medicina? Okay, that's an antacid actually. Okay. Para la tos. Oh, that's cough syrup. That's cough syrup. Okay. Okay. And let's see. Besides that, we were talking about the commands, the imperatives. And if you remember, the imperatives are like, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Suli, I just remember. Please, at the end of the class, you stay a second, okay? So let's see. We were also talking about the imperatives. You remember for the imperative, you don't need the subject. And imperatives are used for giving instructions. Like, like when they ask you to join in, uh, when they give, gave you the instructions for registering for the online courses, they told you, okay, guys, you're going to receive an email, open the email, join in the WhatsApp group with the link that is there, uh, download the Zoom application and register into the Zoom account with your full name so those were instructions. If, imagine that uh, Carol is going to prepare a special receipt, special receipt for his fam for her family. Carol va a cocinar algo especial para su familia. She gets the receipt in internet, perhaps, okay. and there are the instructions. Okay, they say mix, uh, they say uh, boil, drop. Okay, ahí van las instrucciones, and all the instructions you can see. You can check out that they go starting with the verb, okay? So when we when give, give instructions or like Ana Maria with her kids, she tell the kids, okay, I'm going to class, so be quiet. Okay, that's a command. Eso es una orden. Be quiet. The problem is that the little baby is like 10 months, so doesn't care. El único problema es que el bebé tiene como 10 meses, so he doesn't care. He goes like, ah, whatever. Okay, so do you understand what is commands? Any question, guys? ¿Alguna preguntita? Are we clear? Because yes, believe it clear. or not, time's up. Créanlo o no, se nos fue el tiempo. Wow. It goes fast. It was nice seeing you today. I hope to see you tomorrow. Espero verlos el día de mañana. Please connect early. Uh, mostly the ones that still owe me the activity. Más que todos los que me den la actividad, remember, you need to give it. Okay? So, uh, I'll try to be a few minutes before the class. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good Thank night. you, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.